we, we have, have a new, new telescope. telescope. So until next year, I think we have We keep buying new mics like this one here, but every time they are so cheap and bad that um, we have to beat everything. Anyway, so... Um, Wait a second, what the heck is that? What is this blue thing in your hair? I can't take it out. Do you see that? Stop it, get closer. Hey. Ouch! Is it gum? No. What is that? No. Okay, well then don't face this way. Okay. Oh, you have to. I'll just pick it up. Let's just change positions. No, no, let's just change okay. positions. Why is it spicy? So here is our telescope. Wait, uh, do it again. So here is our telescope. It is a SBX 130 Stellar View. And we have so the, the crazy thing is, well, from here you can see that this big red, uh, shiny, beautifulness tool there. It's actually a moonlight focuser slash rotator. It's a night crawler. So it's pretty insane. Um, and yes, we cannot wait to use this over the few over the next few months. I think we have about eight or nine months with this until we have to send it back. But um, so thank you so much, Mark, uh, for lending us a telescope. If you guys have seen our Instagram stories from I think last month, I was explaining that I was actually going to meet Mark in California and give him a a, a custom book. Like so, about two years ago, uh, someone gave us an ASI 1600 mono camera, which was pretty crazy, and so. It's been like two years now, and we're finally going to meet him uh, in about a week. And I thought I would give him this. I mean, it's just a way to say thank you. Hopefully, we'll like it. And let me show you. It's just a few images taken with this camera. So uh, all the images here were taken with uh, with his gift, pretty much. And this camera pretty much changed our life. I mean, in in this hobby, uh, we went from DSLR camera to to monochrome right away. And thanks to him, we were able to get those magnificent pictures. And hopefully, we'll like you know, this gift um, as a thank you. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. When I gave it to him, uh, when we met, he lent us a telescope. So, pretty Amazing. insane. Amazing. Pretty insane. We were supposed to gift you, but then you gifted us back. Yep, that's, that's insane. So, thank you so much, Mark. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we get some nice images. Telescope here. Uh, first things first, on the top there is a golden plaque that says 0041. So I'm guessing it's number 41 in production, which is pretty nice. And then what we did to the telescope is we added a an extra dovetail here, or dove plate, to, to add some accessories on top. So for example, we have a spotting scope slash guide scope finder here, if we need one. And then we have a USB hub so we can attach you know, several USB cables to it, such as the, uh, the camera, the focuser, and some more. So that's pretty cool to have. I like how here on the, on the side for the rings, it's, it's really smooth. Um, it's a bit heavy, but overall we love it so far. So hopefully we'll have some uh, great images. So this red box here is actually the focuser. And when you uh, get the telescope, you can actually purchase it with it together, like this is. Um, it's really neat. What it does is that it kind of extends like back and forth here and it also can rotate the camera. And uh, there's this uh, neat screen here that can like pop up so that you can view um, what, you know, what you're focusing here, like this is a screen. And then you can also use the knobs on the side to focus as well, manual focus. So we took our very first shot from the backyard and we'll show it to you right now. Um, one thing before, um, the O3 and the S2 were both taken uh, through the smoke, so through a very thin layer of smoke from the California wildfires. So it's not amazing yet, but it shows how great the telescope is. So uh, here is the Cave Nebula. Uh, it's about 37 hours total. And so the HA was taken, you know, uh, before the smokes, before the fires happened. But the O3 and S2, we were just so sick of waiting. So we just shot through the smoke and this is what happened. So. Uh, the O3 looked absolutely terrible, but we just kept we just kept all the data and stacked everything anyway. Just like you know, oh, I don't care anymore. Like you know, this kind of uh, of I mean, mindset because of the smoke, we were so tired of it. 
Yeah, I mean, still, you know, we it, there is a chance to revisit it again, which is good. You know, doing it now, yes, it's out of the way, but of course, you know, revisiting is something that we enjoy doing, and it definitely is going to remind us about this terrible uh, wildfire time, because what a time to be alive. Yeah, we should probably do the O3 uh, at least again, maybe the S2 as well, and just pack everything again, and I'm sure it will become much, much better and much cleaner. But yeah, this is a first light with this telescope, um, kind of like a, you know, uh, a bit of a, a terrible first light, but still looks nice. And our next uh, image will be, I believe, much better as long as the skies are clear. Hopefully. So let us know what you guys think of this telescope. Um, it's going to be great. And um, yeah, you will probably see this telescope in almost all the videos we're going to produce this um, this coming month. So we'll see you guys next time and class guys. Thanks.